G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob Hamilton. I hope you had a fantastic week this week. I certainly did. I released my preset pack volume two on Wednesday, the first day of spring here in Down Under. And I'd just like to say thank you to all of you who have purchased it so far. I couldn't believe the sales, man. I was so happy. I woke up the next day and I was just like, <laughs> What? And I know there's a fair few of you that are just like, what the hell are even presets? You don't know how to install them, how to use them. So this is a bit of a tutorial on how to use my presets, but you can apply these techniques to any preset pack that you buy in future. A few weeks ago, I asked you guys to send through some photos because I'm stuck here in lockdown. This is like week 10 now, or 11, or 12. Um, so thank you so much for sending them through. I'm gonna actually show you guys how they work. So I'm gonna edit your photos. Some were sent through on like Google Pixels, iPhone, and so many other things. So I'm gonna show you guys how these presets work with even just those JPEG image types. If you've already bought my preset pack and you're posting your photos on Instagram, don't forget to use hashtag MFZ preset so that I can go back through and have a look and I'll share them on my story and you know, we'll have a little party. We'll have a little party together. If you tuned in last week, you know that I'm doing a big old 10K giveaway, which is a premier helmet and a set of these presets and an item of clothing from my Teespring store. It is actually a few days before the competition closes right now. So we're gonna have to jump forward into the future to see future Rob and he's gonna announce the winner. You ready for this? Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. I did not expect you guys to come here like this. I was just editing the video. I guess you're here for uh, the competition winner. I forgot about this. I forgot this was going to happen. But first of all, thank you so much for all the entries that came in. 167. Woo! 167 applicants to win this bad boy of a helmet. This is, this is actually insane. I'm so, I'm so drenched. And the winner to this little bundle of joy, this little giveaway, goes to Mark Fectic. Congratulations, man. I'll be sending this to you sometime this week. And there might be some delays with the old COVID thing, but you'll be getting it. This delicious helmet, an item of clothing from a Teespring store, and the preset pack. Congrats. And to those who didn't win, do not worry. I am giving away these two helmets right here in the near future. So make sure you stay tuned. Oh, uh, look at this. This is, I'm just, I gotta, I gotta go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you back in time, okay? Enjoy the tutorial. I'll see you in two seconds. Whoa. Thanks for that future, Rob. Shall we jump in? Let's do it. Okay, first you're just gonna jump over to motofuels.shop. I'll have the link in the description below. Just move over to presets, and then you'll see there are all my presets. So there's a free one here, it's Godspeed. The Godspeed preset, it's free. So you can fully just jump over on there right now, download it for free and follow along, and test out the presets, see how they work, and if you like it, or if you think they're garbage. Jump over to the preset pack, volume two, hit add to cart. Do the thing, fill out all your details, hit the download now button, choose where you'd like them to go. I'm just choosing my desktop at the moment just to make it easy for you guys to see. Double click the zipped folder to unzip it. Open that up, you'll see two folders, one's for Lightroom subscribers and one is for non-Lightroom subscribers. So if you're paying for the subscription, ignore the no subscription folder. If you're not paying for the subscription, then ignore the normal folder and go to the no subscription folder. I do have a tutorial on how to install these presets on the free Lightroom app. I'll link it here. Go check it out. It's a little bit involved, but they do work and you literally can use these presets on your free Lightroom mobile app, which is pretty mad. Open up Lightroom. Now at the top left, you're gonna click on Lightroom Classic. Open up Preferences. Go to the Presets module. Second button there and then choose Show Lightroom Development Presets. It shows the location of your presets in Lightroom. All we have to do is import the folder that's on your desktop and import them into that folder. So we're gonna open up desktop, there they are there. Use the Presets Volume 2, that's for the Lightroom subscription, and then just click and drag those into that folder, which we're not gonna do because I've already done it. And they'll just appear all there. Close everything up. You'll need to restart Lightroom for them to be all nice and in there and all fresh and ready to rock and roll. And then, boom, there you go. You should see MF Volume 2 there on the left side and you're ready to go here. Now if you're paying for the Lightroom subscription and you want to get these transferred over to your Lightroom mobile app, all you have to do is open up Adobe Lightroom. This is the non-classic version, the cloud-based version. And you're just going to move to presets, click on that. You see the three little dots, click on that. Go to import presets, find the presets, which in my case again it's on the desktop. Click the folder and just hit import and boom, they're in there. And now from here, they'll transfer over the cloud and straight onto your mobile device where you can see them right here. And there they all are, ready to rock and roll. 
How good's that? Okay, so they're imported. We're done. Now we can start moving on to what the presets actually do. And douche, here you go. MF Volume 2. Here are all your presets. And if you're lucky enough, you've got Preset Pack Volume 1 as well. And here all they are. So all presets are a preset sliders. So you see on the right here, if I reset that, douche, all your sliders are zeroed. And to save you having to do this all the time, going, okay, I want this, and then boost that up, and then going through all these and changing your tone curve and doing all your hue saturation and all that sort of stuff, I've got you covered. So you can reset that. Boom, we're back to zero. And then all you have to do is go, ooh, I like that. Hit that, that's desert slit. Gives it sort of a desert vibe. Boost the golds, gets rid of the blue. Simple colors, very minimal. And your sliders are already preset. So you can go through and you can check everything out. And you can adjust accordingly. So if you don't like this, if you like, if there's too much contrast, you can back that right off. The presets don't have to be the final product. You can adjust them to make it suit your image better, or even to give you inspiration on how you'd like to have this photo turn out. So not all presets are gonna work for every image. There's so many things to factor in, like lighting, white balance, the camera that you're using, subject. And so then you can just go through and just check out how these all sort of look on your photo. So choke are created to cut out most of the blues. It chokes out all those deep blues. And I made it mainly for indoor photography with a bit of natural lighting coming through. For example, this Thruxton eye here. So we're in Wenley's workshop, just chuck choke on, boom. And like, you can see it kills the color out of the blues there. I feel like for my sort of style, I like to minimize the colors. If there's too many colors going on, I think it just gets a little bit cluttered. I don't like it. So then you can just boost up the exposure there a little bit. It's a little bit underexposed. And then you can just drag the slider, the white balance slider, to get where you'd like it. I think that's a pretty cool sweet spot there. And like, that's that's sort of it. That's, that's how it looked before. That's how it looked now. Let's try another one. Choke's actually awesome for flash lighting as well. That's what I use here. And another, another one there. So just chuck that on, boom, straight away. Like how good does it look? Just the wire balance. And then, cool, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with that. You just crop that four by five for Instagram. Boom, away you go. Okay, now let's just try out flash tune. So flash tune are made for darker images, images that are underexposed to help just, just boost up the exposure, get you where you want it to go, and then you can walk away and be happy with it. Um, so we got all these presets here. You can see like some work still, obviously, but the flash one, douge, it just brines it up. So we got Dylan here with his foresight helmet on the Harley Livewire. Crop that to 6x9. 16 by 9 look at that. And then you can probably just boost up a bit of the contrast, drop a bit of the blacks a little bit if you want. And then, you know, obviously I'm doing this nice and quick if you guys. There we go, flash, boom, Dunskis. And usually when I just grab a photo, I like to just run the cursor over them to see which one I like best, really. And then we just start building from there. And so I like Sunset sunset Blip. It just boosts the blues and the oranges, makes it look all nice and pretty. Boosts the contrast there a little bit. And look at that, it looks mad. Gold member gives a nice golden tint to the image which I really, really like. If you, again, if you wanna boost it all up, see some detail in the shadows there. Okay, here we have a beautiful R9T sent in by Riley. Thank you so much, Riley, for sending that in. Um, now you'll see, this is a JPEG image, uh, and you can see here that there are italics on some of the presets, only because there's not enough detail in the JPEG image, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to work. Maddie's great for when there's harsh lighting. We're in the middle of the day, the sun's just pounding, you've got these harsh shadows here, but this sort of softens it all up and makes it all look nice. But you can, you can use whatever you want. If you want to go for that real grungy sort of look, then go crazy on the contrast and do whatever you like. Art is subjective, ladies and gentlemen. It really is. We've got this one sent in from Andrew. Thank you so much, Andrew, for sending this in. I love this image. Check it out. How cool does it look? And it works really well with a lot of the presets. This is a raw image. Um, so raw, if you don't know the difference, raw has just a lot of detail in the files. So you can go crazy with the edit. You just have more leeway when it comes to editing. Think of it like, a raw image being like a loaf of bread and a JPEG being like a pancake. With the loaf of bread, you've got all that detail in there and you can go in and edit all that sort of stuff. With the JPEG, with the pancake, you don't have much. You don't have much to edit. It's just this little tiny little bit here. Hope that was a good analogy. <laughs> We're just gonna go with flash tune here for this one. This brightens it up. It was a bit underexposed here. Obviously, this part here is a little bit bright. So we're just gonna bring in a graduated filter and we're just gonna darken that top part down a little bit. I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit more. Something like that. 
and already it's a little bit better balance. That was before, that's after. We got this sweet 1200 scrambler sent in by Kieran. Again, it's a JPEG, so you're gonna see all the, the italics here. Outback, I made this preset for doing the around the backyard tour. It's got a really nice, you know, reddish hue to it. Um, gives that outback sort of feel. You can go through and adjust everything like that because it's because it's JPEG. You're going to see a lot of the detail is pretty. It's pretty sharp and gritty. So I'm just going to drag the, the clarity down there a little bit just to soften it up. Otherwise, it gets a little bit busy. All the detail gets mixed in. And this is on this is on a, what is it? A Google Pixel. So you can take this with your phone and edit this in your Lightroom mobile app, which I will go through and do a tutorial on how to edit in your Lightroom mobile app in the future as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, and um, and we'll have a little we we'll have a little froth out on the uh, the old Lightroom mobile app. And there you go. How good does that look? It's before, it's after. This one's sent in by Moto Nozem. He takes some awesome photos, man. I love his stuff. Uh, he's on his he's on his thrust in here. Chuck mad on there, and then like that already looks mad. You can put some overlay, put some writing on that, and it'll look cool. If you want to go a little bit further, you can just bump that up. You can boost the clarity a little bit, contrast some clarity, bring some of the blacks down. And that, that's cool, that's before, that's after. Isn't that sick? Now if you do have an image that's a little bit overexposed, uh, let's have a look at this one here. You can see it's blown out, blown out in many sections. You can take a look at that. There are the sections that are blown out. You can go over to, which one? Oil change. And this brings everything down again. So it's pretty much the opposite to flash. So if you have an overexposed image, you can just hit oil change and it'll bring it down and make it look make it look all pretty. There's another one here. You see it's a little bit, not, not crazy, but it is, it's still up there. Um, if you use others, you can see that's yeah, the flash. <laughs> um, like this still work if you, if you like that brighter sort of style photo, everything still works. Oil change will just bring it down and just bring it all nice and with one click of a button. Done. Yeah, so POV I've created for all my point of view shots. Cruising around, on, like yeah, see that, hey, dunk. Perfect. I don't even know if I change that. Maybe like, I don't know. I think I'll just leave it. It's on the Speed Triple RS, the 1200. Man, this thing was awesome. Let's take another one. But you don't have to, it's not just limited to, you know, POV shots. You can, you can use them on, on anything. I love it, I love it heaps. If it works on other photos, we'll make it work on it. See, it doesn't really work on that one. I don't really like it. Let me bring the exposure down. Looks sick, looks mad. But it works on it works on many others. Every other preset, you know, works works everywhere. The preset silhouette I made to enhance any silhouette images. To take a silhouette photo, just expose your camera to the light behind the subject. This looks really nice at sunset. So you can see here I've exposed to the background and this leaves Nettie to be in almost complete darkness. She isn't really, there is some detail there. If you brighten it up, you can see there. But we're gonna go full on, all out silhouette. Dunk, hit that, and then you can just see the outline of it, which is awesome, and a bit of the motorbike there, which is great. And that works well again here with Jason as well. So we just reset that. You can still see there's heaps of detail there. So you can brighten it up, and that's the beauty of having raw images is that all this detail is in there. If you're using a JPEG, it won't be, it wouldn't be as good. Hit the silhouette, boom, and it just darkens everything up. You can even go a little bit darker. So bring all the shadows down, make it all dark. Oh, look at that, looks pretty sick, eh? Sunset blip, I love. That's just like an easy one. This one, this is one of my favorites, I think. It just, it's very usable on a lot of photos. Let's take Ralph's here. You know, you don't even have to be motorbike photos, man. It can be, it can be anything. Thank you so much for sending this through, Ralph. Um, sunset blip. There we go. It's just nice and just nice and easy, and it's just a very versatile preset. So we go there. We'll do, try this on this dark one here. It just boosts all colors, makes everything look all pretty. Another one here from Ralph. Which of that looks awesome. This sort of looks great with all the vintage stuff as well. Desert sled, I love this desert sled. Look at the reds, man, are you serious? Looks so old school. Moving along to vintage green. Pretty much <laughs> the name says it all. It gives it a vintage greenish hue. Here's another 1200 Scrambler. This one's sent in by Chris from Scrambler Stories. Check out his YouTube channel. I watched all his stuff when I first bought my street Scrambler before I started my YouTube channel. It's awesome. I just loved hearing the sound of the scramblers, man. That's the before and after on that. Gives it a nice little vintage hue. This one's a street scrambler by Ian. Another JPEG here, so we see the italics, but everything still works. 
You can see that the detailed difference between JPEG and, and RAW. It's a bit too grungy, a bit too gritty, so we can just back off that, make it smooth it out a little bit, get rid of some of that contrast, bring some of that brightness down. Fun times, just have a little play, have a little bit of fun. This one's from Fraser, another street twin here, it looks awesome. That's Choke, really brings out those oranges, cuts the blues out, but there is a blue tint through the shadows. Vintage green grain, that pretty much, that just adds grain to the vintage, the already vintage style. So there we go, vintage, that is vintage green already. Vintage green with grain, and you can see all the, the grain through it. This is the normal one, normal vintage green, vintage green grain. So the whole idea with the presets is just to go through and just choose a style that you like, something that works with the image that, that you're currently editing. Most of the time they'll just work with one pe press of a button. Sometimes they might need a little bit of work, a little bit of tweaking to get it where you want it, but experiment, that's what they're all about. Presets are there to experiment, to find your style, to help expand your knowledge as a photo editor or a photographer. I hope that answered any questions you had about the presets, how to install them, how to actually use them. I just felt like I needed to explain the presets to you guys, especially like oil change and and um, flash. I didn't want you guys just clicking on that going, what, what the hell? It's so bright or it's so dark. These presets suck. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm happy to do more. Thank you so much for purchasing my presets as well. Please jump over to my store and download the free one so you can just give it a crack and see how you like it. Install it on your Lightroom mobile app and then poo, go crazy. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you next week.